To believe that God answers prayers is to believe that he does not govern, but is governed by the prayers of men. We stand on the brink of a fiery abyss, and only God can rescue us. But unless he wills it so, it cannot be. Who among us has not pondered concerning our condition and standing before God? Often a voice within us whispers questions for which we ourselves have no answer. When I heard of Joseph Smith and his calling as a prophet, the voice of God revealing to man as in former dispensations, this was what my soul had hungered for. But could it possibly be true? My adopted motto, prove all things and hold fast to that which is good, prompted me to investigate as incredulous as I was. Remember that the worth of souls is great in the eyes of God. If we will but learn to live the commandments and endure with faithfulness to the end, we shall have eternal life, which is the greatest of all the gifts of God. deals with us as a tender parent with a child, communicating light and knowledge and truth as we can bear it. When we are ready to come to him, he is ready to come to us. Few in this world have a correct understanding of the nature and the character of God. Many do not understand their relationship to him. God is the father of our spirits. Jesus Christ is his son. Their work and their glory is to bring to pass the immortality and eternal life of man. There is not one of us that he does not desire to save. God has a plan and a purpose for our lives. He wants us to have joy. If we do not comprehend the character of God, we do not comprehend ourselves. As I listened and watched and prayed, I found the answers which I had been seeking. And at length, when I've completed all you sent me forth to do, with your mutual approbation, let me come. 